Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have an interesting one because today we're talking about the latest changes and the latest bans to players in Legend League. But before we're doing that, a couple of more things to go through. And first off, if you guys would like to see me live streaming on Twitch, do all of my Legend and Tech live with you guys, um, just check out my Twitch channel. It is linked down below in the description of this video. And I will stream in, a, I think, what about one hour maybe, a little bit less, uh, probably because uh, this video will be up kind of late, which means in around about one hour, a little bit less, I will stream live on Twitch from 6 to 8 p.m. CET. I hope to see you guys there, and then we're switching over to German from 8 to 10. But let's get back to the video. We want to talk about the Legend League, and we want to talk about what is going on over there with all of the seven accounts. Because as you can see right now, the current Legend League, there are not as many seven accounts anymore as it was before. Like, Yesterday there was a huge ban wave coming in and if we actually check out the, the standings of the last season because like you can always check uh, one season which happened like the last time which in our uh, current situation is like the December season of last year you can see the ranking over there and you can see all of the different listed 70 accounts which means there are tons and tons of 70 accounts out there and that's this is going to be the next question, which a lot of you guys are asking in the in the Twitch chat and the live streams. Um, this is not one person. This is our, this are different persons, and you can see right now, out of the seven seven accounts which are in the top ten or which were in the top ten, got banned. We have no information about why they got banned, but they, there are three options uh, out there. The first one is account sharing. That's the first option. The second one is going against the fair play. Uh, rules of uh, Supercell, which means, for example, like there was a bug in the game, which Darren mentioned as well, which got fixed the last maintenance break, where like the small blinds changes came in, came in as well, and it got called ghosting. What exactly was that? You was a you were able to basically see the opponent bases before attacking, and with this, those guys were cheating with that, and there was another reason why a couple of them were that high, and you can see how many Stephanie counts actually got banned, like. There are tons and tons of seven accounts got banned. And what exactly does this mean? Like this message, you can't find this profile. Um, this means this got, uh, player got permanent banned whenever you have only like a small ban, which means like a two or three day ban or like a uh, one month ban, like 31 days. This means your profile will be still in the game. But with having those profiles removed because those bans are per permanent, this means they won't come back. And this is how it works. Or like this is how, how they, uh, they, they did it. And, uh, well, for me, I'm just super happy that Supercell finally did something. They clean up the Legend League. Let's see if there was, like, the, la like the last Ben wave or more uh, going to come because there are still Stephanie accounts, etc. out there, which means maybe there were, there were fair play. Maybe not. We will see in the next couple of days and weeks, I think. And at least something happened. I think that was the big move. That was the important move from Supercell that finally something got banned and... People see that Supercell actually cares about the, the ranking. I think that's super, super important in my opinion. Um, otherwise, it would have been a little bit annoying to always see the same player name at the top. Because like I said, I do not think that everyone or like all of the seven accounts got played by the same person or got owned by the same person. In addition to that, most of the accounts which got banned are Stephanie not Dr. Muitaba. This is a big difference because a lot of players are saying, okay, Stephanie, Dr. Muitaba, that's actually the same. It is a difference. And like I said, most of the accounts which got banned were Stephanie accounts, which means n not so many Dr. Muitaba accounts. And this is something we should learn. This is something we should go on with. I won't do too many videos on this topic anymore, but I wanted to do one video where I explain most of the stuff. I did already one video where I tried to explain as much as possible about this entire win trading because there's win trading going on as well um, and how they do that. If you guys would like to check that out once again above me, there should be a link. And yeah, like I said, this was the ranking of the last season. A lot of the accounts got banned, like the entire top four out of the top 10, five out of seven of, of the accounts, of the 70 accounts got banned, which is which is a crazy amount. And in the, li in like in the current life ranking, there are not as many Stephanie accounts anymore. That's it for now. That's all what we know. Whenever we have something new, I will try to cover it on YouTube, obviously. But except that, that was it for me. Um, I do not want to talk about this topic like nonstop. I try to put as many informations in this as I know. 
And uh, well, if you guys have any more questions, do not mind to ask me in the comments or just go into my live stream. It's more likely that I will answer the questions over there. Like I said, I will stream every single day in German from always from 8 to 10 p.m. And in English, I'm streaming always from Friday, Saturday and Sunday, always from 6 to 8 p.m. CET. But now I think this was the topic I wanted to talk about. But for now, let's talk about another topic, which is Queen Charge Miners. And actually, I started a project with trying to start like a coaching, a bit of a coaching school, if that makes any sense. And what we did in there was most of the time talking about miners, because miners is a really nice strategy for beginners, for Queen Charges, for example, to pick up. But I think a lot of you guys are trying to come up with two complicated plans. So this is what we're going for for the last couple of minutes of this video. We're going over a couple of my legend attacks with Queen Charge Miners and I will try to explain a bit more about what you guys have to um, like go ahead to and, th and think about and like what should be in your mind when you're attacking with Miners. What is the important thing to do? So what the most important thing is always to do is always go around the town hall into the base. Like you do not care about value too much. Which means if you're getting pathing, this is already the best thing which you can do with Queen Charge Miners. So for example, for this one, I can really easily start, my start with my Queen on the left side and then just let her walk to the right side, wall break her into the Town Hall compartment and this means not only I get the Town Hall, but as well get the pathing. Like all of this marked right now is getting taken out by my Queen. Which means that's huge because like the back end is super easy for me to, lalo, uh, to, to minor it. But... What exactly, like, what did I get? Like, what was the value I took out? I took out, obviously, the Town Hall, but except that, yes, I take out a couple of Expos and two Wizard Towers, which is nice, but I do not take out any of the heroes for the first second, which means, like, there's obviously a little bit of value in that sense, defense-wise, but at the same time, the biggest thing which I'm going for is always entering around the Town Hall with Miners. The reason for that is that if you're going onto the other side of the base, you can go like into one of the channel and could go into like, I don't know, whatever. Um, this is not about value. Another charge which you could go in is like the charge which I marked right now. Just pass the town hall, go into the bottom inferno tower compartment and then put in the miners onto the town hall. Which means you always want to start around the town hall with miners. Either take out the town hall with your queen or go in with the miners into the town hall. The other thing is, Obviously, you could try to charge into the back end and go for like two scatter shots, the eagle, and like crazy, crazy value. But that's not really the important thing. Like those scatter shots, yes, they're annoying. Yes, they're really annoying. But at the same time, you have the warden ability, you have heal spells, you have most of the time free spells. Like you do not care if there's back end like a scatter shot. Obviously, you try to take those out. But the most important thing, always enter around the town hall. And I will show you guys a couple of other. Um, like a couple of other replays as well and what you guys should look out for because like this base is completely wrecked. Like it's not existing anymore. This base got completely smashed and this means charging around the town hall is always the easiest solution. On this one, the single inferno towers, for example, were completely wasted. They were way, way too far away from the town hall, didn't defend any of the charges which were actually important. So this means this is going to be an easy triple for us and um, this is how you guys should do with the, well, like how you should guy, uh, how you should enter with the Queen Charge Miners because right now I think it's Queen Charge Miners is just so strong. Like Queen Charge Miners, Queen Charge Hybrid, all of those um, Miner Hawk Rider combinations, they are crazy, crazy good right now. And you should try to pick it up for sure if you're kind of bored of the Yetis. Um, and like I said, I saw so many people say, okay, we could Queen Charge over here and send the Miners over there. Like I could take out two Scatter Shots, the Eagle, etc. Do not go for value, always go for a pathing. That's the important thing. Have a, have a straight path for your miners. So let's talk about the next base, which should be kind of similar to most of the other bases because this was an anti three star base, but let's talk about anti two star bases. And those are the annoying ones most of the time because you cannot always go for the town hall. For this one, even though we have so many single inferno towers around the town hall, we will always try to charge for the town hall because that's the most, that's the best thing we can do. The reason for that is, like I said, if you're not going for the Town Hall, you can always miss on the second star. That's like the first pro problem. And the second one is that whenever there are like ground skeletons, etc. around the Town Hall, you have a huge problem. So this is the reason why we'll always go for the Town Hall with the Miners most of the time. And let's see 
what is the next step for us. We're charging into the top. Um, what I could do as well is like let my queen walk around the town hall, like not go for the town hall as, a, as for the queen charge, but walk around the town hall, make the pathing. That's not working obviously with the single front towers. So I have to go into the top and try to take out the town hall. For now, my queen is walking a little bit, but I use the king to funnel her. Sometimes you have to go for the funnel with the king. It's not too bad if you do that. You have the siege barracks still to make that up for. So that's that's no problem. Next thing, thing for me, we loot out the enemy CC. We're taking the enemy CC out. Eagle is getting activated. That's a bit upsetting for me because I would have liked to like just chill and let my uh, queen go for the enemy um, CC troops. But what the... Yeah, uh, what the ice golems actually do is that they're freezing my healers, which means due to the eagle, I have to use the rage and obviously like make sure that everything is going a bit faster. And then the next thing is going to be place in the siege barracks at the trash ring and then come in with the miners. Like I'm not even doing a complicated miner drop. I'm placing all of my miners on the same cannon, which is not the best thing, but it still works. Like it's super easy, not complicated at all to place the miners. Just get into the base, first heal spell is placed. Normally the order is that you're placing a heal, then warden ability, then once again the heal. What I did here, I tried to save my royal champion um, with the warden ability, then another heal spell for the core, and this means this base should be completely wrecked because the single throne tower won't do anything about um, my miners just swarming uh, into the last inferno tower. And yeah, this is another triple base because like I said, we have the combination of hawk riders and the miners in behind, the royal champion is still alive, trying to help a little bit with the last couple of defenses. And this means we get another triple on the board. So guys, if you guys would like to see me do a couple of other strategies live, like I said, check out my English stream today from 6 to 8 p.m. CET. Not too long um, after I uploaded the video. And I will hopefully see you guys over there because it's a lot of fun always. There are a lot of one stars at, at, uh, sometimes if I have a bad day, so those are funny as well. And at the same time, we'll have a uh, solo tournament as well going on in the background. So a lot of fun today in the stream, hopefully. And we'll see you guys hopefully as well in the next video. Until then, see you guys and bye-bye.